Uh, I do like the the ginger brood addition to the main. That's something I'm going to be doing going forward. Um, I like that you cut the midnight for it. I I think you should. I, I've been playing. I, I think this exact list, but I'm playing. I'm not playing the black spot. I'm not. I I think playing all of these black lands to splash three thoughtsies is just not worth it. Like blacksmith skill covers a lot of the bases that thoughtsies covers, um, and like you make your mana base a lot better to not like have all like. To play all these black sources just for this. And you also you get to play four Inkmoth Nexus in the mono white list. And like four Inkmoth is just I think too good to pass up on. Um let's see. Uh I'm also playing 21 lands for Springleaf Drum, and I'm playing you have to play Nettle Cyst. Nettle Cyst is great. I'm playing two Nettle Cyst to zero cranial plating also. Something else I was doing. This member. I think I'm supposed to play Ragavan here because of Chalice. Ragavan Saga this turn. Etron, another weird deck. Um, yeah, I'm not. I don't. I'm. <coughs> I like three blocks with skill in the main over Core Outfitter. You could obviously find just like my list on the stream decker. The only difference from that list I would recommend is the um, is the uh, the Ginger Brood. I do think the Ginger Brood is good. Uh, I think I'm making a token. It's kind of close. Let's let's get the Ren and Six down, actually. Maybe token's better against Karn. But they can't Karn next turn. <laughs> yeah, that is a Maze Mind Tome. Somewhat popular in these Etron decks. $3 bills, seven months, appreciate ya. the well wishes so we're gonna have a really good turn this turn it's probably I, I can't imagine my opponent beating this but maybe with like with no ability to get Tron next turn so we float a mana we get Zurin orb play Titania wait I thought so I guess I guess I I'm I guess I need one more mana. I thought I had one more mana. Not a huge deal, obviously. Just play the land. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought we I thought we had five before the land for turn. I, oh, I was counting the Ragavan treasure. That's what it was. I was counting the Ragavan treasure, but obviously we can't float the mana from Saga and use the Ragavan treasure. Uh, Mino caught up this morning. He got two trophies this morning. Uh, Shadrach, uh, or Shaded, thank you for the two months, appreciate you. Yeah, 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 I, I know that you, um, you were playing a lot of this deck before, Giglio, and, like, this is kind of, like, an inspiration from your lists, plus, uh, like, the Jun Saga Reclaimer list that, uh, top eight of the challenge, just kind of a blend of those two decks. I'm kind of, like, the idea is that we're hoping that, uh, Reclaimer is the missing piece, but I'm not sure, right? Yeah, I thought I could play the Foothills foot after Titania, though, but it, it doesn't matter. This game's over. Game over. Such a fun combo. This Reclaimer a while ago. Oh, cut the Traverses and targets kept going. Oh, I'm surprised you got the Traverses, though. Oh, but I, you were never a fan of, you were never a fan of Titania, right? Were you playing Titania? Because I think you have to play Traverse to play Titania. Oh, we have four Charmals in this. <laughs> um, yeah, I've always been a big fan of Titania in this list. Maybe Charmer Reclaimer. Could also, maybe cut a land for the Ghost Quarter. Could cut like the Den. Probably with the Needle too. I don't think I want Force when we've got the two grudges and the Outline Liberator. Force could be fine. Yeah, I think probably you should, probably should play all the Heeds. Cut DRC. Um, I think DRC is good against them. Like the flying is like 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 the three three the one man three three flyer is pretty good against them. Obviously they could chalice me though. 
Yeah, just like the fact that it's, it's a two card combo and you have just so many tutors for them. Like it, it fits so perfectly into this archetype. And it's just my my theory that like if this archetype is good, it's like largely because like the, the Titania package fits really well in this like traverse, um, this traverse uh, reclaimer package. And it, I don't think that it's like, I don't think that the um, there's like too much argument that like this deck is better without the Titania package. It just seems so good to me here. I could be wrong. Can I explain why this deck does not need <coughs> any doors like Ignoble? Um, well, you are, you have 12 better one-mana creatures with DRC, which is really important for Delirium. Um, Elvish Reclaimer, which is often a one-mana 3-4 that tutors up your sagas and other utility lands. And uh, triggers Titania occasionally. And Ragavan, which is, you know, a better ramp creature, a better, more proactive threat. And so, like, it's hard to play, like, 16 one-mana creatures... Uh, you also, like, don't want creature-based ramp as much as you want land-based ramp for Titania. What do you about is this the Zeus of Titania Valakit Reclaimer? Well, those are, like, the Fran lists. Fran has played a lot of decks like that. But what I, dis what I dislike about those versions is their curve is really high, and they're really exploitable by Ragavan decks. But our curve is a lot lower, and we're able to play cards like uh, Rin and Six, Unholy Heat, um, our own Ragavans and DRCs. And so our, our curve is, uh, uh, you know... Because our curve's a lot lower, it's just so much harder for them to exploit us, I, I feel. Um, I'm going to keep a hand that's dependent on Charmal on the draw against Etron. Green White Saga with Wayfair and Reclaimer. Any punch to it? Uh, I don't think Reclaimer is very good. Or, sorry, sorry Wayfair is very good. Um, they have a Chalice. Chalice is pretty good here. Yeah, Chalice is, like, stupid good here. That being said, we do have a Charmall, which is also very good in this matchup. Blood Bray Marauder better than Goyf. I mean, I'm not playing Goyf in the deck. I, I don't think Marauder's, you know, Marauder cascading into, like, Bobble is pretty mediocre. All right, hopefully they don't have Tron plus big payoff here. We can just crush him with double Charmall. I feel like Loma's a good card. Yeah, but we already have four Ren and Six. So like, like I think Loma's worse than Ren and Six. I'm not necessarily looking for like a fifth effect like this. And okay, thankfully we dodged the um, Mattery Shaper this turn. Hey, Fran, how's it going? Yeah, you have to buy with some Reclaimer. Yeah, the idea is, like, this is, like, big inspiration from Giglio's old lists, plus, uh, plus, like, the top eight Judd Saga list from the challenge this weekend. It's kind of a blend of these two ideas. Cavern would have been okay. Yeah, I mean, that's true. We would have had to have drawn it, though. That's true. Scavenger Grounds. Hmm. Saga's a pretty good draw. You pop it? <laughs> Just F6. Okay. There's got to be a better option than Ragavan Rampant Growth of some other combo pieces. Have you played with Ragavan? <laughs> okay, Rampant Growth would be better here because of Chalice. But have you cast Ragavan? The card's pretty uh, freaking good. Combo, combo decks like this that also like get to play Ragavan, what's so good about that is that you get to just attack from a really unique angle. You know what I mean? It's like, we're this combo deck that's like really reliant on the lands and we're like really like slow and grindy but we also have ragavan so you need like interaction for my lands you need interaction for my creatures it's really tough to deal with we're poor mate okay well there's a difference between the like yeah the the line there must be something better than ragavan is just copium because you don't own ragavans and you're just trying to mentally justify that there must be something better there's not but like you can play something else for budget reasons this deck is also the most expensive deck i've ever played on the stream my entire life it's not just these Ragavans. This deck is an Urza Saga, Ragavan, Ridden 6, Endurance, Fury, Force of Vigor deck. It plays almost all of the most expensive cards. Mistress Bobble 2. And it's just like, this is not going to be a list that you can easily port into a budget-friendly deck. This deck did get a little cheaper, though, because we cut, uh, we cut a, a, uh, <coughs> a Force of Vigor for a uh, Outland Liberator, so we could traverse for it. I think I get Stomping Ground here. Oh, if I was going to get Stomping Ground, I should have played Misty, though. Get, we can get Basic Mountain. I 
Reclaimer was to come from. It's kind of a blend of like Giglio's old red green delirium brew, plus you know my take on that brew of just add Titania if I've had, uh, and then there's also like there's a John Saga deck that top aided recently uh, playing Reclaimer, and so like when I saw Reclaimer in that list, I was like, oh you know I feel like that would pour really well into Giglio's old red green brew, and uh, we're trying it out now for the first time. Oh yeah, did of the bugbear is also super expensive. I forgot about that. Only play one though. Graveyard, I think. Graveyard, that's delirium. So I can bobble myself, and if I want to draw the card, I can heat this on my opponent's turn. I don't think I really want to draw that though. I don't want to find a land for Clothis. Keep that though, for sure. Suggestions if you're missing the den. Uh, I would play a Horizon land in that spot, like Sunbake Canyon. This was a very good start, huh? Yeah, I also feel like this deck is really good in the Abragavan Mirrors. That's like kind of the working theory too. Uh, Penguin, I wrote an entire deep dive on Channel Fireball about the, the, that, those specific decision points of how to um, how to sequence uh, with uh, DRC Ragavan decks in the early turns. <coughs> Alright, take the Ren and Six. Plays a Ragavan. I think I'm supposed to traverse for a land, a green land, Yavamaya, I guess, and then get a DRC, and this lets me Clothus, Dexter and Clothus is like the nuts. Obviously, they might kill my DRC, but this puts so much pressure on them. Could get Reclaimer. That's true, yeah. Reclaimer doesn't die to Bolt or Heat. Yeah, maybe Reclaimer is probably better there. Didn't realize it was a 3 4. <laughs> Mardu. Oh, they have no companions, so they're playing Stoneblade. They have Kaya's Guile? No. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> just just lingering souls. I guess they get prismatic ending this. I just realized they had no Luris. They know I have this cloth is. Yeah, I feel like they're kinda of forced into a double chump. They do get to hit me with Ragavan though. Which does have death touch for players. Or so I'm told. Yeah, I think this deck's really fun. <laughs> Legalized strip mine. Well, you'd have to like you'd have to print it first, and then I guess just not ban it. <sighs> okay, XL Forest, pretty good for us. <laughs> They're not shocking here. They're not shocking here. I'm going to be pissed if they shock. Do they not have a basic mountain to get? I do they have a basic plains but not a mountain? They must have misclicked on their land there. It was legalized strip mine was a channel by Ghost Quarter Dredge Players. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's bring in these endurances. The bog might be good too. Our whole deck seems kind of good. Anything bad? Yes, yeah, so the the, <coughs> the ghost corner was a chat suggestion. The bog was uh, something I was doing naturally. Everything looks pretty good. We could cut the combo. That might be correct in this matchup to cut the combo. Yeah, Tron is really popular at the moment, and like it's also like our worst matchup, so I want to like really hedge against it. So our round one was Etron. 
Mr. Stuck, you should play a Giglio. You still cover lands provide any benefit. I usually like to play snow cover lands when I'm on a brew like this. Because it just makes your opponent, like, think. You know what I mean? Nothing really beyond that. Yeah, I think we're supposed, probably supposed to cut the combo in this matchup, unfortunately. I don't know. Maybe Titania's, like, got to be fine, though. <sighs> I think I can definitely see drawing the ore being bad. Let's just, let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, so yeah, Snowlands for Ragavan, too. Yeah, there is an upside there. If you steal a snow card. Giga, were you playing Forgotten Cave? Because, like, traversing for Forgotten Cave is something that I think is super sick. Someone suggests playing Forgotten Cave, and I'm like, well, I don't know. You can't tutor for it with Reclaimer, but you can actually, like, Reclaimer and sack it to Reclaimer. And then, like, traversing for it when you have Ren, I think is pretty sick. Yeah, I, I agree that Reclaimer kind of feels like the missing piece here. Yeah, I was playing the Horizon Land too. I ended up cutting the Horizon Land for Den of the Bugbear. And then I ended up going up the uh, up the, the Forgotten Cave. Yeah, I think the Den's really good. I think that you were playing this list before Den was legal, right? Maybe it was after, around that time. I feel like Giglio's name is, like, really easy to pronounce, but that's coming from me who can never pronounce anybody's name right. Uh, Zurin Orb is the card that combos with Titania, and you can tune that off of Urza Saga. A little bit flooded here. Prismatic ending for Channeler. Four cards left in their hand. It's three after the ending, assuming. I'm not, I think that I think the Yava Maya is good, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Graveyard. I could cast this Traverse and just try to hit. It's probably not good, especially because my red might die and give me delirium. Uh, no companion for the deck. Uh, you can't play. Yeah, you, you, there's no like free ones. Kai's Gal, yeah, maybe. So I guess I should end up plussed. Oh, they're just gonna make me sack, right? And then exile my graveyard. And I wanted to plus because they could bolt the run. <laughs> Mardu charm, oh man. Two one ones with first strike, huh? This feels like a Goyf deck, there's no space. Goyf is worse when you don't play discard spells. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of space. You could maybe play one as like a traverse target, but I'm not that really a, f a fan. <laughs> Crackling Doom. Everybody in Standard loved Crackling Doom. I was never like really a fan. Okay, they hit a Ridden Six. Do they have a land to play it? They do have a land to play it. Fuck. Is Reclaimer there just to fetch Saga? You have some more utility lands than that. But Reclaimer is also like off to the one mana 3 4 that does fetch like a lot of utility lands. Just like a good card, I think. Fuck. Okay, uh, probably, probably taking an owl, huh? We'll see. We'll play it out. Oh, you have a Maya gave them the green, that's right. Yeah, 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 they missed it. Oh, they see Rin? Uh, Ragavan. <coughs> they must have Stoneforge Mystic in their deck, right, if they're not playing Luris. Ah, what the hell? Your Dreadhorde Arcanisting? Ar well, hopefully this is a start, I guess. 
Notably, if I kill the Renin Six, that's a Planeswalker to my yard for Delirium. Yeah, Dreadhorde Prismatic Ending Combo. The Red True Drop Bench is a little shallow. Well, good thing my opponent has in two other colors. <laughs> Yeah, I've played a decent amount of Channeler, or, sorry, Dreadhorde Arcanist. I've never really been too impressed by the card in Modern. It was okay in that, uh, Piracy Charm deck, though. Good beats. Yeah, Arcanist is, de is definitely the kind of card that people really want to be good. I absolutely agree. Opponent, stop uh, stealing my gas, please. I mean, I've got some draws, I think. Arcanist in the sideboard for Infect. I used to play Arcanist in like a prowess stack with like scale up and other pump spells. That was the first deck I ever streamed with actually. So, Reclaimer is just a 1-2. I also have the Den of the Bugbear activation, which I think I'm supposed to use here. Go after the Ren. Take the hit. I feel like this deck makes sense, but it's very underwhelming win cod wise. Really? I don't feel like I agree. We're playing. We have the we have Titania, Urza Saga, Ragavan, DRC, Elvish Reclaimer, uh, Clothis. Yeah, I, I think we're just flooding out, and you're saying, ah, oh, we're light on win cons. You know what I mean? I think it's just like, yeah, this deck is not light on win conditions. Din, Saga, Channeler, Ragavan, Reclaimer, Rin, Clothis, Endurance. Just, we're just like full of threats. They didn't dash with the Ragavan. They didn't attack at all. What the hell? <laughs> Main deck Luris, of course. Yeah, I like this deck too, Mr. Sari. I'm pretty excited about it. So again, Bajuka Bog their bobble off the reclaimer. Okay. It's a start. We get to Lear if we crack the fetch too if we need it. How are we feeling about the number of win cons now? I guess I'll do this on their draw step. Field of the Dead? Well, I'm not a cheater. Wait, did I not bring in the bog? <laughs> Oops. No! No! I get done! Oh no, I, I meant to click out of the sideboard. I clicked on for searching. Ugh, what a painful, painful misclick in a game where we could not afford to misclick. That one hurts. Ugh. Yeah, I meant to click off of the sideboard. Yeah, I'll just fail to find. Nice are up a game. Yeah, yeah, I didn't take I meant to I mean so I was looking at my sideboard. I meant to click out of my sideboard, but instead I I clicked uh clicked done for searching and failed to find. I thought I brought in the bog. Upkeep stop grab saga. Well, I don't need to. Uh, it enters tap, so you don't need to upkeep or anything. Like, I guess so you want to upkeep so that it gets the chapter immediately. Yeah, if it entered untapped, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I agree that they should be like a. Are you sure for the fail to find? I've, I've, we've talked about this before. I might just concede. I mean, I could draw like Fury. What is this attack? Oh, they have the heat. Okay. Yeah, let's just go to game three. Off of it. The tilts. Fail to find concession. Okay, do I want to bring in the bog? I think I do. Maybe not. It's still bad to draw. We have all these endurances. Okay, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I know it would have been really good that game. It just seems so bad to draw, though. So it's not like we're playing against Dredge or Reanimator, right? Spellbomb? I don't think they're not playing like there's no way they're playing like Sanctifier. I don't think about the spell bomb. Look at this hand. Probably get a basic mountain here, right? Yeah, ready for the same mistake. I brought yeah, I brought in the bog, right? I definitely brought it in. I I I, I brought it in. I know I remember bringing it in. Remember we talked about it? <laughs> Foundation Breaker versus Outland. Uh, I think that I think that Outland's better, but like. You could probably write an essay <laughs> on the differences between the two. I think I agree with to, to try to hit Delirium. You could write an essay and, like, you know, maybe, like, argue one or the other is better. It's just hard to tell. They've got a brain. They have an Inquisition. Is that going to be their turn one play, though? It's like, Foundation Breaker has, like, way more upside where you can, like, flip and destroy things turn after turn. You can also play it out a bit more proactively. Yeah, but the, the, the discount on the mana, I agree, is pretty relevant. They have another Inquisition. Oh, wait. A Prismatic ending on top. Easy take Ren. That being said, I've got Delirium. Looking at three new cards here. One of them is an Elvish Reclaimer. Another one of them is Endurance. I'm not playing Goyf, no. I think Goyf is not that good when you're not playing, like, the discard spells. Like, Liberty more because it kills an orb. Yeah, but nobody's going to board in Torp Orb against me, right? It only stops Titania. Yeah, I don't think that's a great argument. They go after the Channeler, not the, not the Reclaimer. This also hits for three. Am I traversing this turn? I think I'm, I think I'm definitely attacking with the Reclaimer. And we can take a look at like what I might traverse for. Like most of my good targets here are three mana. So I think I'm just supposed to probably Endurance this turn. And then like next turn, uh, I could potentially like traverse for Saga and play Saga. If I like draw spells. It just depends. But I, li I like uh, Endurance in here, keeping the beatdowns going. Shocks and Godless Shrine. How good is Reclaimer? We're, we're un unsure. I think good, though. I think just playing this many. Hmm. Traverse for Pyro. Yeah, that or Clothis. This is a really hard call what to discard. I think I'll just discard the Traverse. I think the beatdown is just too good. Yeah, that would have been a good spot for Goyf, though. Yeah, we could have Traverse plus Reclaimer for Saga, but I thought that this was better. Just keep the beatdowns. Yeah, we could have Traverse Dash Rag, but I don't think that's better either. I think it slides better. Traverse gives you at least another 3-4. A Traverse for... Uh, for Reclaimer? Yeah, but that's not as good as just casting Endurance, either. Whoa, boy. Well, uh, I mean, my opponent's at 8. Blood Moon, Blood Moon turns cuts them off of black mana pretty hard, too. I have my Forest. And yeah, I'm not sure how good this is. <coughs> I mean, I, I would board it in. It's just like, I don't think the, the Moon's like doing much here, right? 
But I would board it against, against my deck for sure. All right, I have heat for this. They need to have, I don't, I don't know what they can have really. Like they need a path plus solitude or something. All right, two and up. Main deck bog over ghost quarter. I really don't think I like main deck bog. All right, let's keep this. Niv Mizzet. So Niv is a deck that I haven't seen too much of lately. I don't, I'm not, not a deck I am liking too much. Let's see what, what your take on it is. What is, I, I think Magic Den usually plays Hammer Time. Yeah. It's, Hammer Time matchups, a lot better post board. With the Liberator, the Forces, the Grudges, the Pirate Spell Bomb. Could maybe be tough game one. Okay, so Abundant Growth, Sprawl, Trophy, Bring to Light, Verdict. General Rocker Egg, Bird. Seems pretty stock. Somewhat stock. You know, I, well, I really just don't like how high this deck's mana curve is. Where, like, I feel like, especially compared to, like, the four-color Omnath decks, which have, like, a slightly lower mana curve. Um... Oh, it is... Wait, are we really playing against Mardu twice in a row? We're really just playing against Mardu mid-range twice in a row? What the hell? This one's at least playing Lyris. <laughs> Good traverse for a land if we miss here. Um, It's just like, the four-color Omnath decks, they, they get to have that lower curve. Which means that, like, it's harder for the Ragavan decks to come in underneath them compared to Niv Visit, which plays like a lot, a so many five mana spells. That it's like you're just so weak to like the counter spells, like the cheap interaction that the Ragavan decks play. Which has always been my uh, my issue with these with these decks, like at least at least as of late. So that's that's something to like understand about the archetype. Obviously, if you like Niv, there's nothing wrong with playing it. Seraph, thank you for the six months, appreciate you. Um, and I feel I feel like your list is good like it's very very stock i like i don't see anything obviously wrong with it what is happening marsh flat steam vents what's happening i'm confused oh i think this is, might be that list from the top eight no they were playing green weren't they maybe i'm misremembering do i have delirium i have three types just get prowess with marsh flats no way right Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'd like really change too much about the main deck. Like maybe the birds or something you don't want to play. Could maybe look to play abrupt decay in that spot. Okay, do I want to try to heat and try to get lucky for delirium? I think I'm going to. Cause I got the spire. I really want to use my mana. I was hoping they would kill this and I get delirium from this. Oh no. It hurts me to put Clothis in the graveyard, but we have to. Clothis would be really good here, probably. As far as the sideboard goes, I, I, I really don't like those thought erasures. I think that they're just too inefficient. You gotta play something else there. Like, the fourth thought is better than the first thought erasure. I kinda like these, I like these Vindicates too. I might not be up to like four Vindicates too post board against like Titan Tron. I also don't usually like Veil Summer too much in these decks, but... Oof. What are they doing? Is there Grixis Shadow splashing white for ending? Guess that's what it is. Lurus in the hand. Pretty behind here, I guess. Probably no Shadows? I mean, they're playing Dress Down. Why, why are we assuming no Shadows? That's all five. There's, there's no green. I'm already going to have ratio. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. They don't have drown up, thankfully. Fuck. I guess I was supposed to, if that happened, I, get, I, get, I could get the Season Pyromancer tokens back and then use my mana more efficiently this turn. 
So usually I would probably get Clothis or uh, Seasoned Pyromancer here, but both have already been used. I could grab Saga and then Seasoned Pyromancer. Or I could Endurance. I feel like grabbing Saga and then using Seasoned Pyromancer is probably pretty good here. If I had one more mana, I Titania. Yeah, I remember seeing this list. It does look like it. Wait, no dress downs. Yeah, this is different. This is a different list. Did they miss the season Pyromancer? Oh, whoops. If they double, if they kill both tokens, it's not that bad, I think. They might have more Ragavans. Is this list? What is this, a uh, picture for ants? Interesting. Cool list for sure. <coughs> yeah, the good old one bolts. One copy low. I don't think I want like the fifth Ren and Six effect. I think four Ren's plenty. Right back. We get to do the Reclaimer Saga trick, yeah. Depends on what we draw, right? Depends on if this lives, yeah, I think it's just dead. They only have one card in their hands. We were really behind. <laughs> we were really behind. I'm not sure how we uh, got to this point, huh? Guess we do that traverse. I do think we're probably pretty good against these kind of matchups, which is a really good place to be, right? Not a bad draw. Pretty sure I get Shadow Spear here. I could get Lantern. I think Shadow Spear is probably the, the right call. It's just like so hard to race this. Thankfully, they didn't have their second dress down. Reclaimer looking really strong, too. Uh-oh. They're dead to an Alpha Strike. One mana shy of Fury. I could get Ragavan. Ragavan is lethal if they have a removal spell, right? They block the big construct. Oh, the big construct becomes a 2-2 two -two then, though. They block the big construct, kill the Reclaimer, but they still take 5. Am I doing my math right? Block this, kill this, take 5. Seems like this wins. I could even move the, the Shadow Spear over to the Elemental. They're also like, I feel like pretty clearly F6. I think I have Dress Down. They didn't have Dress Down last turn. Uh, and then they drew Shadow this turn, so I don't think they have Dress Down. Get Din, uh, this is better. <coughs> they're not shocking, they're not in Shadow. If you said this, identify yourself. <laughs> no comment. I guess my comment is reading that comment. Um, I think I want one Fury. Probably just bring in the Endurances, Trim of Fury, Trim of Bobble. I don't think I want more than one Fury. Seems like a good configuration to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, they're, like, them not shocking that spot's probably, like, a fine read. But them, them playing Dress Down was, like, when I assumed they were on Shadow. So, obviously, like, who cares, right? <laughs> they're kind of sighted Blood Moon. Oh, no. But these traverses is a feel to have one generic good creature respond the curve. There's nothing at two or four. Um, 
Yeah, I think there is an argument for that. There have been some spots where I would have... I wish I had, like, a Gawaif. There's already been one spot I wish I had a good two. Um, I'm not sure that you need something at four, because you have so many good threes. Like, you have Season Pyromancer and Clothis. That's hard to imagine, like, Blood Braid Elf is going to be better than those. But I, I do I do think, like, there's 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 been, like... Yeah, I do think maybe you can make a good case for Gawaif, because it just fits the curve well. Murktide Moon and Murktide Fury. I've been doing really well with Murktide Fury. That's what I recommend. No Bog? I, don't, I think that you want to save Bog for matchups like Living End, Reanimator, uh, Dredge. I don't think it's like good in these kind of matchups. It's just so bad to draw. Looks like a keep, I guess. Ooh, Toski. Now you're, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Born of Mold of Six. Yeah, Gwyf does get big. I, 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 I'm, I'm open to it. We'll keep thinking about it. I'm not sure what you'd cut. Like, the list feels kind of tight to me, to be honest. Dude, I love Questing Beast. I don't think it's good, though. Boy, do I love it. Yeah, you'd have to probably cut Second Fury. But I think I like the Second Fury more than the Goyf. It's obviously a conversation. This deck like particularly, I choose Ooze over Goyf. Hmm. Goyf gets this really big, though. I don't know. So to use my mana, play the Shadow Spear. Elder Gargroth is also big. Yeah, it also is a one man. It's a five mana creature to dice down Holy Heat for no value. Not sure where that card's good these days. <coughs> <coughs> I guess our hand's kind of soft to, uh, to old Dress Down, huh? Ooh, 1-1 one, one Shadow. Wasn't ready for that. Oh, boy. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Got to ping that shadow when we can. <sighs> Feels good. You got Clothis. I think the Clothis is great, but yeah, I I do agree that it's a flux spot, but I think Clothis is really good. I could be wrong. Yeah, Grove of the Burn Willows might actually be... Yeah, is Grove sick? Because we can Traverse for it. Grove might actually be uh, pretty good. Okay, so we can go Reclaimer plus Equip. I think I'm just going to play Season Pyromancer. Because if they have Dress Down, this... Oh, they, they have no cards in hand. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Uh, let's discard Reclaimer Stomping Ground. Cool. Let's see what they're drawing. That's a good one. Fuck. How does Grove help us? It's good against... Um, ooh. Uh, Grove is good against... A shadow, so you can like traverse for it and like and uh, kill shadows sometimes, and um, it like does. The, the idea is like it doesn't cost you very much to put a grove in your deck. Like you could play it over the Yavamaya. Uh, Dark Chrome. I, I I take a look at deck lists uh, for ten bucks, or you can also save up and spend a lot of channel points to do that. But I don't do it for free because it just takes too much time. I need to add to my stack of cash in the living room that Athena's eating. So the XL is Shadow. Am I supposed to pitch Endurance here to kill the Channeler? I think that I am. I get to stick the uh, the cloth this to. So I guess it does grow the shadow a lot, but it is a very powerful card here too. Bone Crusher, a second fury. I'm not a big fan of Bone Crusher, but you could argue for it for sure. <coughs> it's like I feel like you're like pretty happy to draw fury naturally. Is why I'm playing multiple copies. Eat a land with cloth. This just depends on what we draw, yeah. But eating a land lets us go Reclaimer plus Activate Saga. 
I might be blocking here with my elemental too. I think I kind of like this so I don't die to dress down. They go for Luris. What do we draw? Stomping ground. So I'm gonna make a token. I don't know what I'm getting with the saga. Probably just a bobble. And then I think I make a mana. So I can play the thing tapped. Only one bobble left in the deck. Green, tapped. Oh, now this is only a one two though. Hmm. If I play the thing tapped, defeating their creature gains me two life. Uh, if I eat their creature here, then I have to shock at the stomping ground and I grow their shadow. So it's like I lose two life because I, I grow their shadow here if I don't jump it or I can't double block. I think making their shadow 6-6 six, six is kind of loose. Or, yeah, 6-6. Six, six. Oh, I was probably actually supposed to not pop this because of construct. Yeah, whoops. So many freaking moving pieces. As far as I know, uh, Menio doesn't stream. They might be interested with this race, though. Draw cards. So the Zurin Orb can grow the Reclaimer. It's a 50k channel points for deck. You can see it in the channel point rewards, right? <laughs> Tense game. Yeah, so getting Saga is kind of awkward here. If they just replay the explosives on zero. Fuck. No blast zone. They get dinner the bugbear. I guess so. The uh not really believing in Saga's ability to get us out of this. Mm. Can I afford to drain them for two here? It's gonna be eight eight, so I go to eleven. I think I would have to. I guess I could have, I could have equipped though. Ah, so close. Oh, endurance turns on Clothis. That's huge. Try to blow him out in combat with that. So such a nervous match. Looks so like they have prismatic ending for Clothis. Jeff, thank you for six months. Appreciate you. So probably attack with both shadows. <laughs> I chump block with a season pyromancer. Take eight. They're dead to top deck on holy heat. They did the Ragavan? I don't think so. They take six, gain three. Gets there, it doesn't get there, right? They have they gain three life chat. <coughs> Dash rag give trample. Hmm. What does equipping Ragavan do for us? We still have to block both shadows. I don't think it does anything. 
I kind of like equipping one of my creatures here and then attacking. Because I kind of think they have to block with the Lurus because they're going to play around Rin and Six, right? And then I could go for Chump Chump and then try to win. Like, they have to block this. Dash the monkey. It's just way better to play, um, to bluff Rin and Six, right? Like, they always have to call this. I mean, I'm still not dead because I could I could still chump chump, but I can't believe they didn't block there. To be honest, they won't block us of life link. They have to block to play around red and six. It's not a. They have to block to play around red and six. I thought I th I feel I feel like this line really represented Rin. They obviously almost did whatever. If I had Rin, wouldn't I attack with both? No, if I attack with both, um. Hold on. No, I don't think so, right? Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. If I had Ren, I could attack with both for guaranteed lethal. No, they just blocked the one that the Shadow Spear is not equipped to. Yeah, it's not lethal. They just... I just... Yeah, I just... They just blocked the one the Shadow Spear is not equipped to. It's not... It's not lethal. Yeah, they called the bluff. I just really didn't think they would. Whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, if, if Lurus didn't have Light Link, we, we had Lethal, of course, yeah. I think I'd tank too long to rep Ren. I don't think so. I think, like, if I draw Ren in six, I'm going to tank and try to figure out what the best line is. I feel like that's, I don't know, whatever. I thought it, I thought that it, it was a good bluff. Two Ren's in the yard? I mean, I play four, whatever, though. Like, I, I really thought they had the block. That being said, like they they very clearly don't have a removal spell here. Like this is not, this game is still going. We also have this dinner the bugbear. I don't know how relevant that is. <coughs> All right, they're playing something. Spell bomb. <laughs> That's an interesting card. I don't know what to make of that card. Shrinks by a Reclaimer, not super relevant. Please add one Blast Zone. Yeah, I'm kind of into the Blast Zone. So they're gonna name Din. All right, Justice, Ren and Six top deck, please. I should block with Ragavan, right? So I can draw another Ragavan. This doesn't do that much because they have their lifelink still. I hate this attack because this this puts them dead to heat. Yeah, this attack's really bad because this like op really opens my outs. So I dash Ragavan, equip Spear to Ragavan. They block the Endurance and they go to one. Dead? No, the Lurus has Life Link, right? Yeah, they take two, gain three. Chat, this is not lethal. Oh, wait, if I, but if I dash Ragavan, don't equip to Ragavan. They block Ragavan gain... Yeah, 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 this is lethal. Sorry, this is lethal. I don't know why I thought equipping to Ragavan had to be more. Oh, man. <coughs> yeah, this attack was really bad, the second shadow. It just made no sense. Like, it just... It, like, all of us... I, I just have, like, a million more outs this way. Oh, GG. Keep, I guess. Good hand, I guess. Kind of close. Awesome, Captain. Seagull, Molten, Vortex, Seismic Assault. I thought about it. Like, Seismic Assault seems not super easy to cast because we're playing Saga, right? I think Vol Vortex is a little underpowered. I, I think that's just probably a different build of the deck would be my uh, sneaking suspicion. What are they playing? I hope it's not a Cascade deck. But it probably is. I think 
I graveyard this. I'm about to draw three cards. We're really likely to find a land. Maybe I could draw this one. Let me draw this one. Look with Bobble. Well, they've got the they've got the fetch land, so I want to get better info. I guess I could have looked at the first Bobble because I have three. It is a Cascade deck, probably Rhinos. How's our Rhinos matchup? Probably horrible. I guess Saga sometimes gets there. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to bobble now. Whatever, just do it in step. It is true, Goyf would make the Rhinos matchup better. Rhinos is also not that popular, but whatever. I feel like I'm going to try to win with Titania this game. I can heat one of the Rhinos. Ren and Six probably eats like a Rhino attack and gains me some life. I'm trying to think if there's like a three mana spell I could traverse for or something. I don't think. No, I need to traverse for this the Titania. They have Force. I guess I'm happy that they're forcing this and not the Traverse. We can't heat Rhino yet. Uh, oh fuck, I thought for sure we had Delirium. How do we not have Delirium? It's a headache. Did I come up with this list? I did, yeah. It's a combination of, like, Giglio, Zone, Red, Green, Delirium, List, though, and, like, the Jun Saga deck that's playing Reclaimer. Just kind of felt like this was a good home for the Reclaimer attack. Nothing too crazy. I think I have to heat the Agent, then Traverse for Titania, then play Saga. I don't think I have another line. Yeah, Traverse has been really good so far. I just have to survive. <laughs> survive. If my opponent has nothing, we could uh, token block the Bone Crusher. Play this, play this. Dead in three turns. I have, yeah, I have three turns. Though, you know, assuming my opponent has nothing. Obviously, we're dead to another Cascade spell. Which they have. Sadly. Oh yeah, they have Borrower. That's what they're holding up. Okay, so I guess I guess playing this Channeler means if they cast Borrower, I get to block. So they have to like they probably Petty Theft put me to one. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm likely dead, but we're not zero percent. Oh, they fetched away the Borrower. That's right. It's still better to play the Channeler. This the Channeler like if they if they're just on a burn spell kills me. Super dead to Violent Outburst. They probably they should have cast Violent Outburst on their turn for two more damage, I think. Ah, so bummer. Yeah, this matchup feels really bad. I do think that Titania, Titania seems to be our plan A. Saga Saga plus Shadow Spear is also like an out. Force of Vigor scary. Maybe I do have to play the Endurance. I don't think we have anything better. I think trying to dodge rhinos is fine. Titanic may be too slow. I mean, it is it is likely going to be too slow. It's like probably our best plan in this matchup. Like against against at least living and we have endurance and like spell bomb, but we just don't have cyborg cards for rhinos. Yeah, Goyf would be good for this matchup. I agree. I need forces, force of vigor. No, I don't. Why for moon? Uh, maybe you're right. Yeah, I think I'll just play the Liberator. Yeah, you know, the, like I, I, agree. I think Titania is great in this matchup. Titania Orb is very good, but it can be too slow. Soul Guide out. Okay, I think I'm on board for that. I could play one Force. I 
I feel like this deck could run two Chalice or two Charmel. I mean, this deck is a bad Tron matchup. It's a bad Cascade matchup. I think it's fine to have, like, a much better matchup against Tron and a much worse matchup against Rhinos. And just, like, just try to dodge Rhinos, which obviously we didn't do here. But if I was going to play a Slayer, I would play... We have Endurance and, you know, Bog and uh, Shadow Spear for Living End. So I would prefer to play uh, Explosives because that's also, like, gives you hedge a hedge against uh, Hammer Time, right? Uh, Force hits Blood Moon. Go score for basic. I have uh, fetches that can give me my basics, man. Uh, Chef, thank you too much. Appreciate you. Okay, I do feel like turn one Ragavan's pretty important. Yeah, yeah, I know EE's offered the tokens. I'm just saying if I wanted to devote a sideboard card to Rhinos. I, I currently, Rhinos is not very popular. I know we're playing against it right now. Take your thing for two months. Uh, I think, I do genuinely think it's the best plan to just dodge it. What's the difference between Rhinos and Living Ends? Aren't they just supposed to get three mana Cascade? I don't know, I don't understand your question. Uh, there's big differences. The difference is like the big in this matchup we have we have like five premium pieces of graveyard hate against living ends that living in is weak to not rhinos so i don't understand the question havoc thank you for the seven months it's where you supposed to bobble them actually is rhinos less popular than tron yes rhinos is less popular than tron right now Yeah, not all questions are meant to be understood. Gemstone Cavern 7 card. Feels really bad, too. The question is why not have Chalice to be good against both Living and, and Randos. Because Explosives has other splash damage and other matchups. Uh, and you already have a lot of cyborg cards for Living End. And it's also like, Chalice is not zero mana win the game against Rhinos. Like... Explosives is a better sideboard card against Rhinos than Chalice. They like just are, they have so many answers to bounce Chalice and just get Rhinos anyways. I think I play Ren here. Another point in favor of Blast Zone. Uh, Blast Zone doesn't kill Rhinos. It always enters with the counter. The Blast Zone's interesting, though. This deck's a big headache. I'm really interested in it, though. I think I want to cut the second Fury for the first Go Wave. And then a Blast Zone does seem... Like a fine card to play in the 75, but I really don't know where. Seth, thanks for the raid, dude. I think this is the first time we've ever had a Seth Mansfield raid. There's like 0% chance you remember me, but we've actually played in paper like three times. And uh, you're always a really nice opponent. Okay, um... Oh, I didn't drop yet. Let's open the chest. And I think I'm going to play one more league with this today. Hey, Seth. Okay, you might actually remember this, uh, Seth. We played to, uh, against each other in San Antonio. Uh, the team event, I was wearing that internet sweatshirt. And I was playing... You were playing Burn. I was playing Storm. And... Uh, and uh, you had, like, a really strong start where you, like, played, like, Swift Spear. And then you played, like... You like searing blaze my Eidolon, and then you went. Uh, the, you searing blaze, or you searing blaze my like Baral, and then you played Eidolon, and I almost, I almost drew out of it. It was crazy. You might not remember. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, yeah, like uh, I like showed you the hand of three mana Morphos. Those really.